Hi and welcome to my channel of Reflex Camera Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you the Nikon F401S, a single lens reflex camera from Canon. Take a look around from the camera. I mounted a 35 to 80 millimeters zoom lens, also from Nikon. We'll take a closer look at the user interface. This camera is called Image Master Control or this control panel, uh, which is a quite old school, old fashioned way of controlling the camera. Today you have these menus and of course uh, the possibilities to switch everything on and out. Um, this one is really reduced to the two main functions or the two main needs of a good photo. The wheel above gives you the time of the shutter. So B is for bulb, which means as long as you press the button and the other one indicate the part of a second. So one means one second, two is a half second, four a fourth of a second and so on. You can do it, uh, put it to the A sign, which means this is the automatic program function. And you can switch with the lower wheel, the aperture of the lens. So this lens starts at one to four. If we have this one open uh, to 35 millimeters, with the automatic here, the automatic here, then we can just set it to one to four, otherwise it wouldn't react. Or of course, a bigger aperture, for example, 16, if you are photographing on daylight with enough, more than enough light. The other buttons are quite simple. This one is rewinding the film, which means you press this and this one to here. So it rewinds the film. It has an automatic, of course, automatic film transport. And you've got here the button for the self timer. The flash comes up manually. And if we take a look at the flash, it's not covered in any way. It's just uh, the function that it's up and on or down and out. We have here the autofocus measuring button, which allows you to get the value. We have the switch for the automatic and the manual focusing of the lens, which can normally set to automatic A if you don't want to focus for your own. And with this release button releases the lens from the camera body. As with all Nikon bodies, this goes just the other way around. Uh, as for example, with an Canon lens. So we take this away, take a look at those contacts inside the body, which communicate with the lens and we see here on the opposite these little contacts on the other side here only five are used but the camera has seven so no problem all these lenses are compatible with those from those times uh, auto autofocus capable bodies we take a look at the back of the camera releasing with this small release button we have we can see the shutter the curtain shutter and the red point where you have to draw the film out of the pattern to lay it on here so the camera can uh, easily take the film in we fear the very good to see the small contacts for 
the ISO uh, setting for the film type. We have, of course, the mounting screw and we have get that lens again on, otherwise there will be dust inside. And here under this flap we have the battery compartment, which is a quite a unique design. Uh, two batteries lying here and two batteries in the grip inside. So we've got four AA batteries. And not these, for example, for other cameras, common lithium batteries, but just plain normal batteries. Helps you if you want to take it with you uh, to your holiday. The camera is quite heavy. And uh, yeah, I really like this uh, kind of setting with those two wheels. This is very old school, but it gives you the most important information and you can uh, just set the most important information the rest is for the camera and the camera does it quite good so you can uh, trust on the camera no problem the camera is as i said quite heavy but also handy it's not too big but also not too small for my hands so i recommend this camera uh, for everyone who wants to try analog photography um, and this really is a beauty also from style and also from the technical values for this time. So this was of course a consumer camera, not a professional camera. Those professional cameras all, almost had more functions, but for the beginner or the collector, this is a very nice item. So I hope you enjoyed my short film about the Nikon if 401s autofocus image master control and i would think it's fine if you look at other of my movies um maybe you're interested and thanks for watching bye